Do you want to learn advanced plotting techniques like 3D plot, bubble chart and heat map? Then this video is for you. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome back to my video series on data science. In today's video, we are diving into the fascinating world of bivariate and multivariate analysis. Two essential techniques for uncovering the relationships between the variables. We will explore various charts that help visualize these relationships. Code them using matplot and clarify how they fit in each analysis category. Bivariate analysis focus on examining the relationship between two variables. This analysis helps us understand how one variable influences or relates to another. Let's take a look at some common charts used in bivariate analysis, including scatter plot, group bar plots, and box plots. Let's kick off with the scatter plot. This chart is perfect for showcasing the correlation between two continuous variables. Correlation indicates whether increasing one variable results in an increase, decrease, or no change in the second variable. It helps us determine whether the variables are positively or negatively correlated. When the points are closer together, the correlation is strong. As the points spread apart, the correlation becomes weakened. In this example, we will use the ozone and wind variables from the air quality dataset to, to explore their correlation. We have passed the ozone and the wind values to the plot.scatter function, customizing the color, size and transparency of the dots. Here is the result. We can observe a negative relationship between these variables. Next, let's examine the correlation between temperature and wind. Here we can see a positive correlation. Now let's discuss grouped and stacked bar charts. These charts allow us to compare the counts of distinct values in two variables or features. For instance, if we want to understand not only the count of album types but also how many of each album types are licensed, these charts come handy. Let's create a group bar chart using cross tabulation. We have calculated the count of each distinct album type based on licensing status. We will delve deeper into the cross tab and group by techniques in our upcoming sessions. By using the plot function with the kind equals to bar argument, we will set the title and axis labels and finally add the values at the top of the bar. Here is a group bar chart illustrating the count of license tracks for each album type. Now let's create a stacked bar chart. The code remains identical except for adding the stack equal to true argument in the plot function. And here is the stack plot. In our last session, we created a box plot for a single variable. Now we can also find the relationship between a numeric and the categorical variable. Let's plot the string feature against a categorical column such as official video. First, we filtered and sorted the streaming values based on the official video feature. After dropping the null values, we pass the data to the box plot function, customizing the box and the median styles. We can see two box plots, one for the official and the other for the unofficial videos. Now moving on to multivariate analysis where we examine the relationships between three or more variables. This gives us a more complex understanding of how multiple variables interact or influence outcomes. Let's check out some useful plots for multivariate data analysis including bubble chart, heat map, pair plot, multiple line chart, etc. First up is the 3D scatter plot. We can use this plot to show the relationship between three continuous variables. Let's create a 3D plot with ozone, wind and temperature to see how they relate. By passing these three variables to the scatter function and using projection equal to 3D, we create a 3D axis within our matplot figure. Wind and temperature are on X and Y axis while ozone values are on the Z axis. 
Check out this 3D scatter plot that illustrates how these variables relate to each other. Next up is bubble chart. This visualization displays three dimensions of data, two numerical variables on the x and y axis where the size of the bubble represents a third variable. In our case, we are visualizing the relationship between temperature and wind where the bubble size indicates the ozone levels. After cleaning our data by removing missing values, we plot temperature on the x-axis and wind speed on the y-axis. We have scaled the bubble sizes by ozone levels multiplying by 10 for visibility. And the colors of bubbles correspond to those ozone levels. Plus we have included a color bar for clarity along with the labels, a title and a grid. Here is how the bubble charts look like. Now let's move on to the heat map. A heat map uses colors to represent the magnitude of values in a matrix or grid making it easier to spot patterns and correlations. Each cell corresponds to a specific value with colors transitioning from cool to warm shades to indicate low to high values. In this code, we generate a correlation heat map to visualize the relationship between ozone, wind, temperature and solar radiations. The correlation matrix shows values ranging from negative 1 to positive 1 and a color gradient illustrating these relationships. Darker red shades indicate a strong positive correlation while darker blue shades reflect strong negative correlations. Next, let's discuss the pair plot. A pair plot is essentially a grid of scatter plots that visualize the pairwise relationship among multiple numerical variables in a dataset. It allows us to easily identify correlations, trends, distribution across different variables combinations. We can use the scatter matrix function from the pandas library to create this plot. As you can see, it includes scatter plots for each pair of values along with histograms on the diagonals. Now let's explore the stacked line chart. This code generates a series of line plots for continuous variables in our air quality dataset. Each variable gets its own subplot while the x-axis represents the time and the y-axis shows the values. By iterating through the specified number of variables, we can visualize the trends of these four continuous variables over time in a single figure. Following that, we have multiple line chart. This chart displays the trend of two or more continuous variables over a shared x-axis, making it easier to compare their patterns and changes over time. Here we pass the continuous variables from our air quality dataset to the plot function. We can see how each variable changes over time with different color scheme representing each variable. Finally, we will look into the multi-box plot. This visualization displays multiple features of a dataset side by side, allowing us to compare their central tendency, variation and potential outliers. In this example, we create a multi-box plot for the continuous variables from the air quality dataset, assigning different colors to each box plot. Here is the result. This plot helps us analyze the distribution, spread and outliers for each variable in one convenient visual. Let's have a quick recap of bivariate and multivariate charts. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more videos on data science and AI. See you next time.